Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to make a lehenga skirt for my daughter and this is going to be the fabric I chosen to make the lehenga. It's a net fabric but it has a nice uh, flower pattern in that. So it's somewhat like a, somewhat like a aqua blue I think. So it's not a really blue sky blue it's like an aqua blue sea blue like that and and I took a three meters of fabric and also I bought a lining so the lining fabric either you can go with a satin or you can go with an Italian grape so this is called as an Italian grape fabric and for the top I bought a silk cotton it just goes really well you can see this is a silk cotton which is like a chocolate brown not chocolate coffee brown you can say that's nice and this is what the trim I'm going to give for my lehenga just I'm giving a description of what I'm having what are the materials I'm going to use for making this lehenga so that you can also make the same like this and this is the golden uh, brocade fabric you can buy tissue or brocade whatever you want it will be a little bit um, glimpsy that is it has a really golden shine you can see how it is so I'm going to give as a trim for my uh, skirt again and I bought the sequins and I'll show you see so I'm going to stick the sequins in my lehenga skirt see? and again I bought this color sequin so that I can attach this to my lehenga top so when I keep the fabric and, and I keep on top of this can see how beautiful it is so this is for the lehenga top and this sequence is going to be on my skirt see? I'm going to attach this all around the skirt like this so when you buy the sequence take a fabric along with you so that you can just keep the sequence on the top of the fabric and you can check whether it's um, going exactly up for the dress and also I bought this lace I don't know whether I'm going to attach this so but I love this lace so I bought this lace and it also has a gold and the same aqua blue color somewhat like this some kind of trims I bought so that I can attach to my skirt and for the top and some kind of golden trims hope it should come out well okay let's see the um, cutting of the lehenga skirt so the hip measurement for my daughter is going to be 26 it's a full length I'm saying the width of the hip so um, I'm going to add 2 inch for that for losing so it's going to be 28 and when I'm going to divide into half I'll get 14 inches so we are going to work, going to work with this 14 inches. So then the next stage is you have to decide what is going to be the width of the each kalidar. See the 14 inches means if you want you can take 1 inch each. So if you take 1 inch you will be having a 14 kalis over here. Front 14 and back 14 all together you will get 28 kalidars in one skirt. But I am not going to keep that much kali. So I'm going to take each kali to 2 inches. So if I take uh, 2 inches of each kali, I need 7 kalis to get this 14 inches. So when you multiply 2 into 7, I'm getting 14. So this is how you have to calculate how to keep the kali. Okay? If you want, you can keep 1 inch kali. If you keep 1 inch kali, you will get all together, you get 28 kalis. But now I'm going to keep 7 at the front and 7 at the back. So all together I'll be getting uh, 14 kalis. So each kali is 2 inches. So if I keep 7 kalis over the front, I'll getting the 14 inches. Right? Okay. So the height of the uh, lehenga skirt is going to be 26 inches. So this 26 inches minus going to be the belt what you are going to attach to the lehenga skirt. So 26 minus 2 is going to be 24 that what you are going to give a marking. So let's see how to draft the same in the drafting paper and making this as a guidance we are going to cut on the 
fabric okay let's see that the the width of the kali is going to be two inches so from year to year is going to be the width of the kali so from the top I'm going to give five inches and I'm going to straighten a little bit and from here it's going to go all the way down so from the top I'm going to mark 26 inches actual measurement is uh, actual measurement is 26 minus 2 is going to be 24 thus minus 2 inches I'm going to make with the belt so 24 inches I given a mark so from year to year I just straighten this out okay and from year to year it's going to be a slanting line so for this just fold the paper into half your your pattern paper so first I just mark the center point of this so two inches means one inch is going to be the center point One inch. I'm going to draw a line just for the folding. Okay. Just for the folding, I mark the center point of two inches, and then I fold it in like this. So now from here, I'm going to take that 24 inches. So if I mark 24, it would be coming over here. And so the bottom gear that is the bottom uh, length is absolutely depend upon you the much you keep the bottom gear is going to be a full flare lehenga so if you keep the bottom of the kali to be um, 6 inches when I open it it will become 12 inches so imagine if you add 7 um, 7 piece of this 12 inches means surely the gear of the lehenga would be really big so it's absolutely depends upon you for me I'm going to keep five inches over here and I'm giving a marking so put a straight line and you're going to join this point to that point okay so now it is done and this is the exact measurement for the kalle and when you sew you have to leave a quarter inch on both the sides so quarter inch plus quarter inch is going to be half an inch so on this side we are going to leave a half an inch for the sewing so now we are going to mark a half an inch over this this half an inch is nothing but a quarter inch quarter inch on either side for sewing that is the elements what we are giving for the kalle for the sewing so I'm going to mark this So for the bottom I took uh, 5 inches so when you have a 5 or 6 inches the flare of the skirt would be really big and let me cut this out how one kali is going to look so I'm going to trace the same pattern in my fabric and going to cut seven kalis for the front side and seven kalis for the back side 
Okay, I laid the fabric in a lengthwise and I'm just keeping my pattern and I'm securing it with two pins. If you want, you can fold the fabric in the half and you can place this pattern and you can cut it out. But I just want to show how to cut an open fabric. When you cut for the next time, don't keep it like this. Just turn over the pattern and place it somewhat like this. In this way, you save the fabric. And this is how you have to cut the pattern from the open fabric. So when you secure it with some pins, it doesn't move from the fabric and it just stays in a place. So that's what I'm securing it with some pins. Then we need to cut the top. Okay, and I finished cutting all the 14 panels for my uh, lehenga skirt and this is going to be the 14 panels. Okay, and if you want to make a lehenga skirt for yourself, it's very simple. Take the width of your uh, hip line and divide it by two so that you will get the half a size of your half of the hip line and uh, the marking what I showed is exactly same leave 2 inch for the belt and the uh, skirt the bottom piece it's absolutely depend upon you I lay the 7 panels and show you how it's going to look like so number 1 number 2 number 3 I don't think my cutting table is enough to have all the seven panels. Anyhow, I hope it comes out really well. You can see I just arranged only four panels over here. This itself, my cutting table is full. So imagine if I add a three panels to that, it looks really huge. And so this is going to make the difference, the full flare of the skirt. So the bottom piece. If you want a really big flare you can keep till 10 also 8 9 and 10 it will give a big flare and I cut it out a uh, 2 inch uh, for belt I made a 4 inch belt and I'm going to fold it into half so it's going to be a 2 inch belt lining fabric Okay, place the lining flat and double fold the lining like this. We are going to draw the hip over here and we are going to draw the uh, skirt length and we are going to give a curve to the skirt length. So now, I am going to measure the same and just draw 
uh, a curved line for this part and from here this 22 inches is the full length of the skirt but we don't want to keep the full length uh, we can take 20 inches that's enough just reduce 2 inches from the full length of the skirt so the full length of the skirt in my case is 22 inches so minus 2 inch is going to be 20 inch so now I'm going to take only 20 inch out of this so that I'm going to give a mark so I'm going to cut this out all the footing panels and let's get started turn take this right side place it under the foot rest okay so i'm placing both the footing sides together and i'm going to sew that in a cotton seam elements sewing make sure that the pretty sides are together We are going to press this together to hold that in place. So do like that to all the panels. So same like that. I'm going to place the uh, pre sides together and I'm going to sew that. So each panel should be sewn separately like this. sure you need to go the right open it see when you open it look like this so same like that I'm going to join all my 14 panels together border for my lehenga I finished cutting out my uh, brocade material 
it just I cut it out in um, three four inch wide uh, four inch width of this border and then now I'm going to cut my golden border in five inch width so I'm going to take five inch and I'm going to mark the same all over and I'm going to cut five inch okay just mark it out so one inch is going to be less from that border to this border so the brocade border I took four inch and this gold border is going to be five inch going to look like this and I'm going to use the same pattern I'm going to place it on top of the fabric again I'm going to cut the same Now I'm going to join all these pieces with some uh, golden lace and I'm going to attach it to my lehenga and this is going to be the trim for the lehenga and let's see how to do that. Now this is going to be the pre side of the trim and I'm going to place my uh, wrong side of the fabric on top of my pre side of the trim. So this is very important. So I'm going to place the fabric on top of that, like this. And I'm going to start sewing all around. Don't pull the fabric, ease with the fabric. And sew that together. Once you're done with attaching the border like this, so you'll be sewing like this. And once you are done attaching the border, just open the border like this and I'm going and you're going to put a top stitch exactly at the corner of your border so here so I sewn this way so I'm just opening the border and this is the wrong side of the fabric that is the uh, skirt and this is the pre side of the border so I'm going to ex sew exactly at this point so that it turns well while turning the fabric in so exactly at the corner I'm going to sew it so once it's done with a top stitch like this the next step is fold the border in and, and you are going to sew it exactly at this corner or else you can just press that together but I think when you sew that it just sits firm so this is the extra work that you are going to do to your uh, border that is um, sewing giving a top stitch and sewing it again but this makes the skirt look really pretty the border sits really nice when you do this so I'm going to put this in so sew this on the exact corner So 
Just I'm going to make a gather at the end of the end of the uh, border. So I'm just holding the fabric at the back side and I'm just running it this end so that it forms a gathering like this. So you can see a beautiful gather has made. So if you don't really know how to make this. You can sew in a long stitch and then you can pull that together it forms a gathering. So once you're done with making the gathering at the one side of the border, I just give a hand tag so that it just secure in the place or else you can use the pin to secure this in place and, and then I'm going to sew this together. If you can sew as like that, yes, you can go ahead or else you can just always hand tag it and then you can start sewing or else you can use some regular pins to pin that in position. So when you get into this curve, you have to make a very small pleats over here so that it just fits into this curvy area. So make the border into flat and bring the excess fabric like this and I'm going to fold it in like this and sew it exactly on top of that. So I just made this pleat before while making this hand tag. So I'm just I'm going to sew on top of that. Make sure you lay the fabric flat and just tap a little bit so that if you have excess fabric that will come out. how to ease the fabric okay after attaching this border I'm just going to attach this one on top of this so you can see this is a fraying raw edge so to conceal that I'm just going to place this on top of this border and I'm going to start sewing sewing the bottom we are going to sew the top of the border this side so join this one and start sewing so here also you're going to make a very small pleat so that it just sits in the top After attaching these two borders, I'm just going to uh, leave at least a 3 inch of elements over here. So, and then I'm going to attach these, this color border because the uh, top of the lehenga skirt is going to be a little bit brown in color. To match that, I'm going to add this color border. And for that, I'm just leaving a 3 inch of uh, elements over this point. So why I'm leaving that elements is I'm going to add these patchwork all over each colleys. So I just added 
a little bit of elements over there and now I'm going to add this lace uh, leaving a 3 inch elements so So after sewing the bottom, I'm going to sew the top like this. After attaching all the borders together, we are going to add these kind of edging lace over this over here and also over here. And this edging lace gives you a very neat finish. So let us start adding the edging lace. So I'm going to add the same kind of lace on all the both the side, and I'm going to add this a little bit glittery lace over this side. So. edging lace gives a very very neat finish to your dress so just a little bit stretch your fabric and I'm going to add a bit. so just like that place it on top of your lace and you're going to sew it see when you add this edging lace it gives a, a differentiation between these two lace so I'm going to add the same lace over here and I'm going to add a different kind of lace over this edge making a lehenga skirt need more time and you need more concentration of making this so joining all the lace together and sewing for a couple of hours is uh, not an easy task so 
first decide what you're going to do, what kind of design and what is the trim you're going to do for your lehenga and then start cutting. very very important while sewing uh, these kind of lehengas because that edging lace gives a really neat look so I'm going to add this brown color edging lace matching to this brown color fabric it's like not brown color it's like a coppery color lace so I'm going to add this lace over here The last lace is going to be this bead lace. I'm going to add at the bottom of the uh, border. So just place the bead lace and, and just place this border on top of that and change your foot to the zipper foot. And I'm going to sew this together. And this is how my lehenga looks after attaching all the pieces together so this is going to be the skirt lining and this is going to be your belt lining now I show you how to attach this lining skirt to your uh, to your lehenga skirt see I'm just placing the main fabric down and I'm placing the lining at the top of the main fabric and I'm going to sew the a part first so I'm just attaching the hip of the skirt. So don't pull the fabric. 
making the belt I'm going to just going to attach the lining and the main fabric together and then I'm going to sew this to my skirt After making a belt pattern like this, so what you're going to do is fold one side of the belt and put a stitch. One side should be a raw edge and what the other side I have folded that together and same like that just fold the raw edge on both the ends of the belt. So once the belt piece is sewn together, now we are going to sew the skirt piece. First I am taking the lining out of the skirt like this and I am going to match the hip like this and I am going to start sewing the skirt from the bottom to the top leaving 2 inch at the top and then same I am going to do to the next side leave a 2 inch and I am going to start sew from this. So after making the belt you're going to start sew with the skirt so same like that just start okay start joining the skirt like this so you have to stop exactly at the two inch and if I'm going to jump over to the pre skirt so I'm, I have stopped exactly over this point and I'm going to go ahead with the next side of the skirt. So in this 2 inch opening you can either attach your uh, zipper to that or else you can just match the lining and this fabric and you can double fold this and you can just put a stretch over so that you have a little bit of opening for the skirt to get into. So this I'm sewing for my child so I don't want to put the zipper for this. So if you're sewing for yourself, you can put the zipper. This is how exactly where you sew the slit for your kurti. The same method. Same method how you sew the uh, slits for the kurti, same like that I sewn. So now take out your uh, skirt belt and make sure you meet up with the raw edge like this and you're going to start sewing. So 
So I place the skirt down and I am placing the belt piece on top of the skirt. So once you're sewn with the belt piece like this, you can see. Now what you are going to do is make sure all the raw edge has been tucked in and you're going to close it like this. Okay. So this is how it has a very neat finish and also the belt will look really nice and neat. So all the edges are being sandwiched in like this. Okay and you're going to put a stitch over this part. And this is going to be the end result of the lehenga skirt and it came out really 100% well you can see the full flare you can see it has a very big flare and uh, I just given this hanging at the end of this knot it's a weightless hanging and coming back to the borders see this is the trim. I just cut it off from a fabric and just attach it over here. And I thought the border is too big for me and so to make it a little bit small, I just added a lace over here. It's a one inch wide lace. So I just added that lace and I just given an edging lace over here and these two lace are same color and here I have attached a coppery color lace. and. Again, going on to the belt, I made the belt to be very simple, neat. It is two inch wide belt, and this is going to be the top that I made for the lehenga skirt. And you can see uh, the neckline, and also I given the same trimming that I gave for the lehenga skirt. I just gave the trimming at the back side too. You can see that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future video and also you can join in my Facebook group to get the regular update about what's going on in my channel. And thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.